So Windows 8 isn't the most intuitive OS, and this means that lots of people wouldn't want to be given it, never mind having to pay for it. At the same time though, not everyone can afford a high-end Mac with expensive 6-core processors. So this got me thinking, what is the alternative? So the first product I found is Elementary OS, and that can be downloaded at elementaryos.org. So it is free, and you can donate $10 to the software makers in order to make their product better. So Elementary OS is an operating system based on Linux, and it's written by desire, not by a paycheck. And the fact that it's open source means that you can download, use, and modify the code to make it suit your needs. You can then submit your ideas to the website. Elementary OS is designed to put design first, which means that it's been designed by many designers and developers that believe that computers should be easy, fun and supposedly gorgeous. This means that you can customise the OS a lot to make it more personal to you, and is designed as a free replacement for Windows on the PC and OS X on the Mac. So what does it have in it? It has basically a fast web browser and an app store that allows you to download thousands of apps and you get free updates and another great thing is that there's no known viruses to date. So the operating system is designed to be fast. This means that it boots up quickly, you can log in pretty much instantly and it uses the bare minimum of resources so the apps can enjoy a speed boost as well. Elementary allows you to easily surf the web, check your email, listen to music and tackle everyday tasks. Because the operating system is free, that means that there's no confusing terms and conditions, no confusing pricing, licenses, and also it does mean you can copy the disk and give it away to your friends without having to worry. So you can get Elementary OS by going over to the website, and that is at elementaryos.org. And if you click on the button on the right hand side that says download, or underneath you can also click download Luna for free and it will take you to this page. You can optionally send a payment which is like a donate rather than paying for the product and then you choose your processor spec so 64 bit or 32 bit and you can download it either directly or from a torrent. So for now we're going to download the 64 bit direct download and hit download. Once you've hit download you'll be sent over to sourceforge.net and your download will start then what you need to do is hit download and save it on your computer. So once you've downloaded Elementary OS, you'll need to burn it to a CD or DVD using a tool such as ImageBurn or Nero and restart your computer and boot off the disk. For the purpose of this tutorial, I'm doing it within a virtual machine, however the steps will be the same for a physical machine. So if we turn on this machine and let it boot off the disk and press enter and we can select English and as you can see we can either try elementary or just install it. For now we're going to install it So here we are, we've booted into the OS on the live CD. So what we need to do is select your language, which is English in this case, and click continue. And these are the steps that we need to take before we can install it. So it's saying that we need to have at least 4.4 GB available drive space, which we have, which is why it's gone green. And we're also connected to the internet, and that's green as well. And you can optionally uh, download updates while installing or you can also install third party software at the same time as it's installing. Now we can click continue. Next we need to select the installation type. So as you can see it's saying that we can either erase the disk and install the OS or do something else. That's because there's no detected operating systems on here. If you've already got Windows installed then obviously what's going to happen is it's going to say that you've already got Windows installed and what do you want to do? In which case then you've got to be aware that it will format the hard drive so any files that are on the, on the hard drive 
will be erased. So for now we're going to click on Erase Disk and Install Elementary OS and click Continue. Here we need to select the disk that we're installing it on. Obviously there's only one choice here because there's only one hard disk connected. And hit Install Now. So while it's installing it will ask you a series of questions to help set up the OS. So first thing it asks you is where are you? And at the minute we're in London and we can click continue. So here it's asking what keyboard it wants. So we're currently using an English UK keyboard or if you're using a US keyboard or from somewhere else and then select the relative option on here and hit continue. Next question is who are you and basically what you need to do is set up a user account. So for now we're going to put in our name as Ben's Tech Tips. So it's given a name of Ben's Tech Tips dash virtual machine. Obviously you can change this and that's just your computer name so when it's talking to other computers on the network that is the name that it will have. Next we need to pick a username. That's as default for Ben's Tech Tips because we put the name in here and set up a password and you have two options whether you want to log in automatically or require the password to log in. What we're going to do is select require password to log in and leave the encrypt my home folder unticked and click continue and you'll have to wait a little while while it continues installing the operating system. So once you've completed the install it will tell you to restart your computer just hit the restart now. It will say please remove media and press enter. Take the disk out and hit enter. And it will reboot. This is just so it doesn't boot off the disk again when you restart. So here we are at the logon screen and it's asking me for my password and I'll start in now and hit login. So as you can see it's booted up and if you look at the bottom we can see a sort of Mac style uh, dock where we can uh, basically put apps. Now what we need to do is install drivers from the machine and the process is different depending on what system you're using. Once the drivers are installed for the OS you'll have a range of different options that you can choose from. Along the bottom we have Midori which is your web browser. So if we just start that you can see that we're going to the elementary OS website. So for example if you want to go on the internet we could type in uh, my site which is benzetechtips.co.uk and that should load up. So as you can see it's loaded up the page OK and we hit close that'll take us back to the desktop screen. There's a mail app, empathy app, calendar, music, uh, movie player, uh, photo gallery, uh, system settings and there's also an app store. If we go into the settings we can see what we can change. So here we can change the brightness and lock screen. Defaults, desktop, uh, language, privacy. Uh, there's also a hardware section which allows you to install drivers. You know the display, mouse, power, power options, that sort of thing. Uh, networking, uh, that includes wire, uh, Bluetooth. And information about the system so we can click on about and it'll tell us the system. If we go back at that now, there's also a software center. Where we can download loads of apps. So if we just maximize that and we could go to the internet section and you can install Firefox um, and other browsers too. If we go back there's also other options such as VLC Media Player, a few games, 
points you can play and other options such as office so thanks for watching this video please like rate comment and subscribe also check out my upcoming videos where i'll be showing you other operating systems that you can use in place of windows 8 and mac os Thank <music> you.